what is up everybody out there on YouTube back again with another video so what happens when you have to take a drug test when you own your own authority as an owner operator and all this stuff so if you don't know I've said this before but I have OIDA okay OOIDA they handle my drug and alcohol consortium now when you first fill out your application for your authority like I said it's gonna be so many people calling you and one of these people that's gonna call you is gonna to try to offer you drug and alcohol consortium now don't do like I did I paid like 500 and something dollars um, for this program and all this stuff to get my drug and alcohol consortium but they did send me to get the drug test because you do have to do like a pre-employment drug screening and stuff like that to get started for your business and stuff like that. But it doesn't cost that much. I think OIDA is like a hundred and something dollars for the whole year. And you know, you renew that every single year. So definitely want to check with that. Um, if you need me to, shoot me an email and I'll send you all this information for everybody and all the services that I use, you know, for my authority, like I tell you all the time. Now also too, this is not required. It is required for your authority, but it's not required to activate the authority. So to get going with the authority, like I said, the only thing that you need is you have to fill out the application, you need your BOC3, you need your UCR and your insurance. That will activate the authority. But to be compliant with everything that you need for your authority, drug and alcohol consortium is one of those things. Now, another thing about the alcohol and drug consortium, you know, you may want to go ahead and get all this stuff set up to get it out the way. That's totally up to you. So make sure you contact OIDA if you want to use them or contact, you know, do your research and contact multiple different places that offer this service to see which one is better for your company. But the one that I do use is OIDA. Now, with OIDA, you know, I've already been randomly drug tested twice in the last three years. So if you think that just because you have your own authority that you're not going to get drug tested, that's just clearly not the case because you know companies, if you work for a mega carrier or you work for a small carrier or you're a company driver, whatever the case, even if you are leased onto someone, you're subject to random drug screening. And that's the case even if you have your own authority as well. So to be compliant with the FMCSA, you know, this have to be done by a third party they want everybody to be drug tested alcohol consortiums and all this stuff has got to be in place for you register for the clearinghouse and all this stuff so all this stuff you need to be compliant so make sure that you're using all the services that are able to maintain this stuff for you on a year-to-year -year basis so that's why you know it's very easy with OIDA and when it comes to OIDA and a drug and alcohol consortium they're gonna give you or they should give you two options that are kind of important if you are subject to a random drug test right if you are just yourself and they have to contact you then you have to stop whatever you're doing I think you got 24 hours maybe 48 hours to go and take a random drug test or get drug tested immediately so no matter where you at you got to find the nearest place that offer drug screening and you have to go there and submit that drug test or you will be out of compliance I'm not sure what the repercussions would be if you don't do it if you do come up for a random and you don't have a representative for your company they have to contact you to let you know that you have to do a drug screen then you have 48 hours 24 hours maybe 24 i'm not sure which one it is um, but you have to stop whatever you're doing and go do that drug test immediately as soon as possible within that time frame if you appoint a representative it can be anybody a family member somebody you trust you know a spouse uh, sister brother whoever if you appoint them just for this part just for the drug and alcohol consortium part if you have a representative that you can appoint them to contact to let you know that you have a drug screening a random drug screening that you need to take you'll have 30 days you will have 30 days from the time that they contact your representative to let you know that you have a drug test to take you know you will have 30 days instead of 24 hours or 48 hours or however long it is but it's real quick it's simple you have to stop whatever you're doing if it's just you so take that consideration when you're setting up your drug and alcohol consortium you do want to have a little bit of time to be able to go and get that done because if you're out and you're driving in your OCR and stuff like that you know it can be kind of tough to try to find some random place that you got to go take a drug screening in a place that you're not familiar with if you had that time depending on how you run you know you can always have a situation done at home you know or your hometown to where you know where you can go get a drug test done at so that's how it happens when you are your own authority operator owner operator whatever you want to call it when you're running under your own authority and you are the driver and this goes for your drivers as well um but if you are running under your own authority and you're driving your own truck then that's how 
this works when it comes to you getting a random drug screen per the DOT or FMCSA or whoever is in control of that. So let me know what you guys think. Hope the video was helpful. Like, share, subscribe. Until next time, see you in the next video.